Miss Molly and welcome to week three of Wreck at Home. The dates this week are July 6th to July 10th. That means it's the first full week of July. July is the seventh month of the year and it has 31 days. Did you know that July is National Picnic and National Ice Cream Month? Can you guess the theme of this week? It's under the sea. Did you know that about 70% of the earth is covered by oceans? The longest chain of mountains called the Mid-Ocean Ridge is underwater. It was formed by plate tectonics moving apart and hot magma coming out from underneath. Kind of like when you break apart a Pop-Tart and the inside filling oozes out. I'm down here in the ocean hanging out with my good friends Nemo and Dory. What's your favorite under the sea animal? Do you like sharks, dolphins, seahorses, or whales? My favorite animal is a dolphin, but my friend really likes whales. So I want to know, which is your favorite ocean animal? We're going to be having a lot of fun together this week, playing games, making cool arts and crafts, and a lot more. So let's meet the familiar faces that are going to be going under the sea with us this week. Hi, happy campers. I'm Miss Sam, and you'll be joining me this week for some fun physical activities that are under the sea themed. We'll be playing games like shipwrecked, cross the ocean, and jump the waves. Join me this Tuesday at 11, where we're gonna have some real, real fun under the sea. Don't forget your towel, your goggles, and your imagination. Hey, happy campers. My name is Miss Liesl, and I'm excited to read a book with you this week for our theme, Under the Sea. Join me on Wednesday at 11 o'clock. We will be reading The Rainbow Fish. Written and illustrated by Marcus Pfister. Can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Mi nombre es la señora Indira y estoy muy contenta de leerles un libro para ustedes esta semana. Los espero el miércoles a las 11 de la mañana y voy a estar leyendo el libro El Pez Arcoiris. Los espero. Hey, happy campers, it's Jen. Ready for another week at camp? On Thursday at 11, let's meet to do some art. It's under the sea week, so what I thought we would do is we would make some cardboard fish. All you'll need is a piece of cardboard, um, something like a pencil or something sharp to pull up that top layer of a cardboard sheet. And then you need um, a photo reference of a fish. Don't forget to print out a copy of your, your favorite fish. And uh, some paint, uh, aluminum foil, water cup, things like that little paintbrush. Anyway, I can't wait to see you Thursday at 11. Let's make some art together. Have a good week. Bye. Hey, happy campers. Mr. Jim here. And I've been stuck inside this whale now for, well, how long has it been, sea cucumber? <coughs> Gosh, has it been that long? <coughs> well, might as well build that dream house we've been planning. So join me this Thursday at 11 a.m. All you'll need is paper, pencil, markers, and then something to add color. In this case, I chose watercolor. See you then. Hey, happy campers. It's me, Miss Lizzie. Join me on Thursday at 11 a.m. where we're going to be making these cool coral reefs. All you're gonna need is a paper towel roll or some cardboard, construction paper, scissors, glue, and a pencil. See you then. We made it. I'm so excited for this week. Are you excited? I can't hear you. I said, are you excited for this week? Yeah! That's more like it. Before we begin the week three fun, let's go over the camper expectations. Number one is to try your best. Number two is to be safe. And number three is to be kind to others. Parents, if your child participates in an activity or finishes a project this week, make sure that you submit a picture so we can put them up in our gallery. Well, I better get going. I think I lost Nemo and Dory. Do you see them anywhere? Oh, they went that way? They must be going to hear the song this week. I better get swimming so I can hear the song too, but I'll see you guys for all the fun at Wreck at Home this week.
Bye. Hi, happy campers. My name is Norma. Thank you for joining me today to sing Under the Sea. This is our theme this week, and the name of the song is The Slippery Fish. Before we begin our song, please remember our three expectations. First, try your best. Sing along with me. Second, be safe. Make sure you have a safe, open space to do the movement to the song. Third, be kind to others. Use an inside voice when singing along so you do not disturb others in your home. Let's add some movement. For the slippery fish, we're going to put one half on the top of the other and we're going to wiggle our thumb. For the octopus, we are going to put two hands together and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tentacles. And we're going to go like back and forth, squiggling through the water. The octopus. For the tuna fish, we are going to put our hands together and it's going to be flushing through the water. For the shark, we are going to put one hand for the fin and this is his mouth and he's going to be looking through the water and for the whale we are going to put our hands together and our arm together and we are going to be spouting through the water this movement spouting through the water okay now we're ready to sing okay Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus, an octopus, squiggling through the water. An octopus, an octopus. Oh no, it's been eating by a tuna fish, a tuna fish flashing through the water, a tuna fish, a tuna fish. Oh no, it's been eating by a great white shark, a great white shark looking through the water, a great white shark, a great white shark. Oh no, it's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale spouting through the water, humongous whale, humongous whale. Pardon me. Thank you for swimming with me. Great. Do you think we should try learning the song in Spanish now? Did I hear someone say yes? Awesome. Let's learn the song in Spanish now. Para la canción, agreguemos movimiento. Para la sardina, vamos a poner una mano sobre la otra y vamos a mover nuestro pulgar. Así, la sardina, nadando. Para el pulpito, vamos a poner dos manos juntas y ocho dedos. Cuatro más cuatro, ocho. Así nadando. Para el atún, vamos a poner dos manos juntas y el atún nadando. Así. Para el tiburón, vamos a poner una mano así para su aleta. Y otra mano para su boca. Y así va a estar nadando el tiburón. Para la ballena vamos a estar usando dos manos juntas, dos brazos. Y así, la ballena muy grande. Nadando. A cantar ahora. Una sardina, una sardina nadando en el agua. 
una sardina, una sardina. Oh, no, fue comido por un pulpito, un pulpito nadando en el agua. Un pulpito, un pulpito. Oh, no, fue comido por un atún, un atún nadando en el agua. Un atún, un atún. Oh, no, fue comido por un tiburón, un tiburón nadando en el agua. Un tiburón, un tiburón. Oh, no, fue comido por una ballena, una ballena nadando en el agua. Una ballena, una ballena.